Hello, welcome back. Uh, we have seen that the genetic code is universal in a way or to a large extent and that one codon uh, codes for only one type of amino acids and many codons could code for one amino acid. And there is also a concept called as verbal concept and that is something it will help us understand uh, see how one tRNA could possibly recognize multiple multiple codons say in the case of the genetic code and let's take uh, a situation something like GC um, GGA and GGC etc that code for all all code for glycine and how is it possible how many tRNAs would you expect in that sense would you need four different tRNAs for to recognize these four different um, codons I mean should they have different anticodons or not and the verbal concept is something to say that we don't need uh, four different uh, tRNAs instead one is sufficient could be sufficient or maybe less than um, less than four is are sufficient and that's what is about uh, trying to understand it is about verbal concept. In the verbal concept, the base pairing is the point, base pairing between the codon and the anticodon. So normally we would say that uh, G would base pair only with C, but it and um, but G can also base pair with uracil. Uh, similarly, the C can base pair only with G, and A can base pair only with U in this sense codon anticodon thing we are discussing about this is on the anticodon and these are the bases that are expected in the codon so if we have uracil in in the anticodon it could recognize a or g normally it would have been recognizing only a or base pairing with a if it is inosin then it can recognize with a u and c inosin is not a normal base that would be expected in nucleic acids uh, either in dna or rna but it can be made by editing of the trna uh, thereby forming inosin inosin is a kind of precursor for the purines and because inosin is if inosin is present then it can base pair with a u or c so now if we look at the the concept closely the one that we are depicting here this is the say this one is the anticodon and here is the codon if we see that the trna on both the cases here and here say case one and case two is same the anticodon reads five prime to three prime u c u and the same is also being read in UCU. So basically the tRNA here we are depicting is the same. The difference however is that the, the codons they recognize. If you see that the, the codon that is being base paired with is AGA. That is a perfect match. U is base pairing with A, C is base pairing with G and a, U is base pairing with A. That is fine. But here we have a difference. U is base pairing with A, C and G are base paired, that is fine. But here we have something little bit of difference where U and G are base paired, which is kind of abnormal because that is um, normal, not a normal hydrogen pair. So if we have uracil in the, in the anticodon, it can base pair with A or G and that do not every every part we can only that can only happen in the third position of the codon so in the third position of the codon if we see one second yeah in the third position the first two positions the base pairing is supposedly um, absolute you should have perfect base pairing like the canonical ones that we we think of whereas in the third position this is on the third position there is a little bit of relaxation in the in terms of base pairing 
and that is the base pairing that we want we are discussing in the third position of the codon because we are trading from 5 prime to 3 prime so this is the third position or if you want to talk in terms of the anticodon then you should say it as the first position of the anticodon the base pairing is something uh, follows these rules g base pairs with u or c and u base pairs with a or g and inosin base pairs with a u or c and so that is how you don't need to really have four two different tRNA molecules in this case you just need two of uh, one tRNA which can recognize both AGA and AGG codons here is the example another example in the case of um, CCI I should actually read from I inosin cytosin cytosin right I, I C C that is the anticodon and the codon is GGU and here is another GGC and GGA in the third position the codon uh, the base is different the rest of it is same and all these three different codons can be recognized by or, or best paired by one um, tRNA consisting of ICC inosin in the first position of the anticodon so the base pairing between the first two uh, codon basis is important and the third basis in the third position there is much more relaxation and this is called as uh, oval concept and that explains why um, there are only 20 amino acids but we have 64 codons out of which three are stop codons and that means there are more than one um, codon could be coding for an amino acid and then the oval concept simplifies it by saying that you don't need as many 64 or say 61 different tRNAs you can have uh, way less than that I hope you understood the oval concept it's fascinating how evolution makes these adjustments and uh, comes about and makes this wonderful uh, phenomenon of uh, translation see you later bye bye